Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Summerlin and I'm one of the application engineers at Rhino Toolhouse. And at Rhino Toolhouse, it's our mission to provide the world's most innovative solutions. I want to bring one of those solutions to your attention today. It's called Nexonar. It's a precision tracking system. But before I go into Nexonar, I want to give you a little background on myself. Before I worked at Rhino Toolhouse, I was a, ma a manufacturing engineer for a plastic injection molding company. And some of the most common issues we ran into were quality defects, operator turnover, and operator training. Now Nexonar is going to help us take care of those issues simultaneously. First off, I want to get into a little bit of the components before I get into the features of the system. Now Nexonar is a software-based solution that runs on a Windows PC. Uh, the PC is provided, but there is the option that if we need to, we can run it off of a Windows laptop as long as there's available USB 3.0 ports. And typically we would recommend against that. We would, because the PC that's provided has everything you need already, um, though the, the laptop is an optional backup uh, in case things uh, go wrong uh, because there is always the possibility of a PC failure. Secondary, there is the camera. This is an IR camera uh, that's going to be mounted overhead so that it has line of sight to the, the work area uh, that we'll be performing the tasks on. Uh, this has a USB 3.0 connection um, and it needs to have clear line of sight to the, the area. Then you have the trackers themselves. Now the trackers are available in multiple configurations and sizes, uh, either corded, so if you already have a corded tool, we would recommend that one just for the fact that then you don't have to remove or recharge or worry about uh, uh, running out of battery. Then there's also a battery operated style. You can see the charging port on the back of this one. It's just a small USB port. Uh, and then there's also the, the capability of being able to hook that to a wireless tool and run off of the battery of that wireless tool. Um, and as far as tools go, the Nexonar system is brand agnostic. Um, we can figure out a way, if it doesn't already have a universal option to attach to it, we have the ability to 3D print um, attachments to certain tools. Uh, we've also uh, attached to multiple other things, to arms, to um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is having Velcro on the back of one of the trackers. You can see this is a slightly different style, battery operated. And what we have in this side is to be able to attach to the back of an operator's hand. So during an assembly process, we can still track the hand movements. And even if you have a rapid turnover of operators, or say you have two different shifts that are using the same tracker and they have drastically different size hands, through a calibration process at the beginning of each shift, we're able to match through the tracker. We can see where their index and thumb will be from a known point on our work surface. So we can rapidly change over um, without any modifications to the actual system itself. So the track or the uh, system can communicate through open protocol. Um, PLCs, we've attached it to light guide and pivotware, some of the other systems we rep. Um, and we have the ability to also take these trackers and mount them to the work surface themselves. And the interesting thing about that is it takes our work surface from a static operation to a dynamic one. So if you think about things like uh, uh, line tracking, uh, we have the capability to do that. And the system only really needs one camera uh, to function, but we have the capability of attaching 16 cameras in a cluster to be able to see a greater area and uh, control all of them with one system. So you're gonna get that precision tracking multiple times down the line, and uh, we can follow multiple operators at the same time and verify that they're in the right position. Now, one of the first questions I get asked on the system is the PM or serviceability of the system itself. And like I said before, there's always the possibility of a PC failure and we have um, backup 
plans for if that situation occurs. But your tracker is going to be the most uh, possible place where uh, failure is going to occur just because these are um, used uh, with the operator. So there's always a possibility of being dropped, broken, run over by a fork truck, anything like that. So we always recommend having one of these as a backup. The camera itself, we actually recommend against uh, PM or service just for the fact that you have the possibility of bumping the camera. Um, it operates using the infrared lights and a dark screen so dust on the lens isn't going to have much of an effect on it uh, so we would recommend against actually doing any pm service on the camera itself uh, so that pretty much covers it if you have any questions feel free to reach out to myself one of the other application engineers or your local sales engineer and we'd be happy to help you stay safe guys